Welcome, in front of me is an iPhone 11 and today I will show you a couple more tweaks and tricks that you can do on this device. So we're going to begin with the uh, silence unknown colors and we'll basically do what it says it will, silence unknown colors. And to enable it you want to go into the settings and then find the phone app. So right here and you'll have it right over here. Now I already have it checked it on, what you really need to do is just tap on it till it's green. So then it's enabled, by default it's disabled. Yep, yeah. that's the first thing. Now, moving on, we're gonna go into the uh, battery uh, charging. So basically it's uh, optimized battery charging. And to get into it, I want to go into the battery section, also in the settings, and then battery health. And you'll have it right here, battery or optimized battery charging. Enable it, and if I'm understanding this correctly, I'm not really sure if this is exactly how it works, uh, but it basically learns how you charge your device and it waits to charge it to, uh, to full I guess or to 80% and uh, if I'm understanding this correctly if you plug in your device let's say when you're going to sleep it will it will learn that you're basically unplugging it in the morning and it will wait to fully charge the device till the morning basically that's assuming I'm understanding that it works like that now I might be wrong so don't quote me on that um, but I get a message right here that it kind of states so you can figure it out as well as or learn from your experience if it does what it says it does in that way. Yeah. So moving on, we're going to go into the full screenshot, which will allow you to normally when you take a screenshot, as I'll demonstrate it, get a screen, you can tap on it. And that's basically it. You can maybe crop it a bit to show only like content that you want to show. Let me delete this. But there's also a way to take a, a full screenshot like a scrollable one unfortunately i found it to be only limited to the web browser for some reason so as you can see if i were to now take a screenshot right here tap on it it's still the normal screenshot but then you have actually an additional option full page you tap on it and as you can see now it's a scrollable page which can actually save the entire page now for some reason, I mean, you can use it, it's always helpful. Although I don't find it right here. Well, right here. As you can see, it disappears. So, and so, as you can see, you can take a full page. And, uh, yeah, fairly nice if you want to show a little bit more content to someone from an entire page. Or you can just select a specific kind of amount of it. Let's swipe there on the side. Then another thing I want to show is the lock notes, which will allow you to basically protect your notes if you're, if you're, I don't know, have tendencies, for instance, to write your passwords in them and you want to more well, protect them. Um, so when you write a note, just create, create one. So I'm just gonna, whatever, write something. And then I think it was share. And we should be able to find it somewhere, lock note, right here. So when you're in the note that you want to lock, like this one, which literally has nothing in there, you want to tap on the share, scroll down, and then tap on lock note. And then it will give you this little window where you need to put in a password, verify, and then a hint in case you might forget it. So I'm just gonna put whatever, not really, trying to protect it, just as an example. Okay, and now if I leave this, and I try to actually open it as long as it's locked, you just close all this, let's go back to it, and now it's locked. So I need to tap on view node and then put in the password to get access to it as you can see now okay and so that was one and the last thing i wanted to show is the low data mode now nowadays a lot of people have fairly decent amount of uh, data accessible to use but if you're i don't know leaving your country for a vacation you might want to limit it so 
you don't get charged with like absurd fees for exceeding overseas uh, bandwidth. And to do it, you want to go into the settings, then mobile data. So it's gonna be right here. And then where is it? Mobile data options right here. And you will have the option low data mode. All you need to do is enable this and it will basically limit the data. So it will still allow you to access everything, but will limit basically how much data it uses. So if I am assuming correctly, if, for instance, if you're opening a browser, it will not load the images at the full resolution just to preserve the, the data itself, but you will still be able to see everything. Okay. So that would conclude the top tweaks and tricks that I wanted to share. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.